The biggest difference between this life-proof free and nude case and the Ballistic Hydra is really a belt clip. If you like belt clips, get the Ballistic Hydra. If you want decent everyday protection, get the life-proof cases. Real usage, real reviews. Mobile Reviews A. .ca. Hey, it's Aaron from MobileReviewsA.ca and today we are going to do a comparison video between the Lifeproof Nude and Free versus the Ballistic Hydra. Now this isn't going to be a three year comparison. We grouped the two Lifeproof cases together because, well, they're almost identical except for the fact that one has a screen protector, the Free, one doesn't, the Nude. And the Nude is just slightly thicker than the Free and doesn't handle as well. But generally, they are basically the same case. Now, both of these life-proof cases uh, score much better than the Ballistic Hydra. We gave the life-proof cases a uh, A rating of over four for both of them, and the Ballistic Hydra kind of suffers at 3.5. So when I first got the Ballistic Hydra, I was very excited, but after using it for a while, not excited that much. This is actually our second case because the first one wasn't even waterproof, but we'll get to that. In terms of the weight and bulk, all three of these cases are very light. However, the Ballistic Hydra is wider and it is also taller. Now you don't notice that extra bulk because it feels like there's a rubber bumper around your phone, which there kind of is. But when you're using the phone, you're using it through the thinnest part of the phone. So you don't really notice that there is a case around it. In terms of the ease of installation, the life-proof cases require you to use a coin or if you're really awesome, you can just put your finger into it and just pull back as hard as you possibly can. The Ballistic Hydra, you install using these active latches, and I think they've got that trademark. But installation is very simple. You j you've got three pieces, you've got a screen protector, and you have this uh, active latch cover thing that has all these active latch cover or active latches on it, and you just latch. I've used the word latch a lot in the last minute or so, but you just put it on, very easy to install. In terms of the build quality of the lifeproof cases, you know, they're fairly high compared to the Ballistic Hydra. Um, one of the things that we did notice is if you clean your screen protector, like on the inside of the screen protector, say there's dust and you wipe it off with like a microfiber cloth, you're actually going to scratch it. And those scratches become quite apparent over time and it, both sides of the screen protector scratch. And so that's a big knock against uh, this case. Also, not all the pieces fit well together. I don't know if you can hear that. That's actually the front panel squishing against the middle panel against the back and it's making that squeaking noise. So this case is better than the everyone, but again, there's certain pieces that just don't fit as well. In terms of the droppability, all three of these cases are incredibly droppable. We dropped them on concrete, drove drones into them and our phone survived uh, all those drops. In terms of water protection, again, this case, the first one failed miserably. The second one, when I started doing the water test, it kind of failed. 50% failure rate, then Agata started doing it, and then all her tests passed. So we didn't put an actual device in it because we were, I was really wary about the waterproofing of the case. And to add to my worries was that we couldn't actually find a difference between the original case and this case. So we can't even tell you why the original case failed. And that is unacceptable to us. In terms of screen protection, if you're using the nude with the optional screen protector, well, all three have screen protection. The screen protector on the Hydra is thicker than the one on the free. Uh, now, that's not to say that the free screen protector isn't tough because on our life-proof free for the iPad, we dropped it on a rock by accident and the screen survived. So all three provide a decent level of screen protection. In terms of the functionality, the Ballistic Hydra suffers quite a bit, especially in terms of sound. You can easily access all the buttons and whatnot, but the sound coming from the case is pretty bad, especially through phone calls. Um, listening to somebody on the phone with this case, the sound tends to, it sounds really staticky, and that's really awful considering you've got that crystal clear whatever technology inside the iPhone 5, and it gets completely muted with this case. In terms of screen usability, the free, and the Ballistic Hydra trounce the life-proof nude. The nude, again, doesn't have a screen protector, which is cool, but then it's got these edges that are raised quite a bit, about a quarter inch off the screen, and so it's difficult to get to your QNP on your digital keyboard, as well as the swipe menus on iOS 7. The life-proof free and the Ballistic Hydra don't have a bezel, so you can easily access the um, iOS uh, swipe menus, such as you know the camera, the command center, as well that the daily summary when you swipe in from the top. Now, in terms of viewability, we would score them almost all equal. The Free does have a screen protector, and it, it does a little bit more glare. 
the LifeProof new, well, because there is no screen protector, well, it doesn't offer any additional glare. The glare coming off of the screen protector off of the Ballistic Hydra is almost non-existent. This is a really nice screen protector and it would have scored higher unless, except for the fact that, well, it scratches really easily. In terms of case enhancements, the Ballistic Hydra does come with a belt clip and it actually works very well. So if you're one of those people who wears their phone on the side of their, uh, you know, on their side off, coming off the hip, then that belt buckle works really well. You don't have, well, you can buy belt buckles for these ones, but hey, Ballista gave you one with the Hydra. In terms of price, the Nude and the Hydra cost the most, and the free is generally $10 cheaper than both of them. So if you're looking for good everyday protection, go with the LifeProof cases. Unless Ballistic fixes their uh, waterproofing as well as the screen protector. Again, I had such high hopes for this case and maybe, you know, the next iteration will be a little better. But right now, if you're looking at buying a LifeProof case versus a Ballistic case, get a LifeProof case. Again, I'm Aaron The Ho. I'm a reviewer at mobilereviewsa.ca. If you have any questions about these cases, leave them in the comments section below. Send us an email with those questions. Uh, find us on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, all those wonderful social media platforms. Uh, check out our website. We've got full blog reviews for all of these cases. And, you know, keep your phone safe and dry with all of these cases. Generally, with the LifeProof ones, you're taking a chance with the Ballistic Hydra. Thanks for watching.